morning. Let's go to Pride. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet. Hello, I just landed in Indianapolis and I am very tired. My 6 a.m. flight to Indianapolis usually lands sometime between 8 and 8.30 a.m. From there, we've got about an hour drive back to Tanner's house where we hang out while we get ready for our weekend of pride. Now I'm from Florida, so I'm definitely not used to this kind of weather, so you could always catch me amazed by the snow and sneaking off to make a snowball or two. We just got to Tanner's place and I'm gonna go pick up some coffee and some snacks from the grocery store, and it is raining. Last week when I was here, there was a big winter storm, like Wednesday and Thursday before I got here on Friday, so there was snow everywhere. Hello everybody, welcome to my vlog. I'm going to make a snowball. Nice. But now all the snow is melted. There's a little bit. There's a little bit here and there, but it's mostly just ice. Let's look at the ice. All right, I'm here at Meyer. This is what I got from Meyer. Some gummy bears, Starbucks Frappuccino in a jar, and some chocolate bars. Nothing of nutritional value. We've got about three hours until we have to leave for Middletown, Ohio, which is a three hour drive. And then our rehearsal starts at around seven. So until then. Until then! We just vibe. Just a little insight to what is happening this weekend. Um, it is the WGI Indianapolis Regional. It's also my birthday tomorrow, and tomorrow is prelims for the show. So tonight we'll be rehearsing in Bulletown, Ohio, and then we have a show tomorrow, we have prelims tomorrow, and then we spend the night in Indiana, and then we have finals on Sunday, and then that is the weekend. And then I'll be back to Florida on Monday afternoon. I honestly think it's gonna go by very quickly. I feel like all show weekends go by quickly and like two day regionals especially go by quickly. But I'm excited. It's the first time we're gonna wear costumes. I believe we'll have our full show out and I'm excited for a WGI crowd to see the show. It's gonna be very exciting. I'm also very nervous. Before we leave for rehearsal, I'm just gonna spend some time um, packing all of our stuff to wear and right now I'm gonna pack up my secret Valentine gift. Um, we're doing like a little secret Valentine gift exchange uh, tonight at rehearsal. So I'm just gonna package my thing and like stuff it with tissue paper. But this is what I got for my secret Valentine. Um, my secret Valentine was Megan Dufala. Here's some dark chocolate. And these little chip things, popcorners. And then she said that she likes socks and cats. So I thought these little ankle socks are super cute and I have these Valentine's ones. And I also got her this actual cat. Tick. Just kidding. Um, and then I got her these, I thought these were really fun, especially because it's really cold here. They're like little knee high socks. I, these aren't cats, but they're llamas. And then she's always wearing these like really fun scrunchies and she has really cute hair clips. Um, and she also said her favorite color is purple, so I just got this thing. I found this notebook, which I thought was really cute, just because I was stumbling in the stationary section. Um, but I like saw this one, and I was like, you know, I don't really know Megan that well, but this looks like her. And it like, just gives off her vibe. I love this notebook. I wanted to keep it for myself, but I was like, I can't. It is the season of giving. And then I just made her a little card. And I'm gonna 
pack it all into that bag and then stuff it with tissue paper. And yeah, hope you like it, Megan. After packing and getting everything we needed for the weekend, we drove three hours to Middleton, Ohio and got to rehearsal. This rehearsal, we got to try on our costumes to make sure they fit like a glove, thanks to Chad Dugan and Dan Sophisticate. And the staff even had us do some chunks in costume to make sure we felt extra comfortable going into prelims tomorrow. Right after rehearsal, we circled up and started our secret Valentine gift exchange. <laughs> Similar to Secret Santa, we drew names at random and put together a gift for our person based off some of their favorites that were provided to you once you find out who your person was. I thought it was such a fun way to learn about each other and it was so heartwarming to see who got who and what we got each other. It truly is little things like this that made the season so special. Matthew Creech is my secret Valentine and he drew me this and gave me a basket full of face masks and my favorite candies. Thanks again, Matt. At this point, it was getting pretty late, so we started getting ready for bed so we'd be nice and well-rested for WGI Indie Prelims tomorrow. Look at this cat lamp Tanner got for Anne. It's a salt lamp in the shape of a cat. Meow. Good morning. It's a show day. It's also my 26th birthday. I'm so old now. Uh, it's 9.15, our show starts at 10, so we're trying to pack up our stuff so that when we have to leave for Avon High School, most of our stuff is just ready to go and we can focus on getting ready and cleaning up the facility before we leave it for the weekend, because after we leave here this weekend, we won't be back until next Friday. Zoe just gave me these socks. Nice. Right after rehearsal, they handed out our member jackets, which was really cool because we got to see our show logo on our jackets for the first time. After we did hair and makeup, we left the sports complex and had about a two hour drive to Avon High School to get ready for our prelims performance. Among so many exciting things this weekend, Pride social media guru Isaac Pina was in town for the regional to help capture some of the magic. Here's some of the shots he got from the show. Be sure to check out his other social media pages to see more moments with Pride and to see the rest of his work. After we unloaded the floor and props, we settled into our hallway and started getting ready for the show. <laughs> Not only was it the first WGI show of our season, it was the first in-person WGI show since 2020, so we were all super excited. Let's keep sickening! We changed into our uniforms for the first time to be seen in public, and this is honestly when things started feeling real, and that it hit me that we were about to perform as the 2022 Pride of Cincinnati. Okay, Ellie, what are we about to do? Uh, perform our first regional. Okay. Hey Zoe. Hey John. You excited? Yeah. We took a little bit of time to do our last touch-ups, got some photos taken with Isaac, and before we knew it, it's time to perform in WJ Indianapolis prelims. And look at Brady, isn't he sickening? Bam! All right, off to prelims. How was your show? Your show is Great! It was my home show. Yes, it was. Home show, dumb show. It's really cool. <laughs> big bird. Big bird. I love snowball Hello. Cam. Hey, Anne. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing so bad. It's snowing. I love the snow. It's so pretty. Especially when you look into the snow and then like look at the lamplight. Oh, no, it's like getting in my car. And then you see the snow and then you're like, whoa! Immediately following our prelims performance, we loaded up both the floor and the props back to the trailer in the snow, as I'm sure you can tell, and met with Robin for some logistics about what the rest of our night would look like. We headed to the hotel Pride was staying at and picked up the pizza that the board provided for us and quickly settled into our room so we can get a good night's rest for tomorrow's rehearsal and finals performance. Here's a clip of Sierra handing out Goodnight Goldfish. Goodnight Goldfish. I'm walking to Zoe's room because I don't have anything to take off my makeup and I look like a raccoon. I look like I've been crying. Okay, I'm here. Hey! <laughs> the next morning, we woke up bright and early and headed to Greenfield Central High School to rehearse for WJ Indy Finals. Hi vlog, I look crazy. <laughs> this is Olive. 
my friend Liv gave them to me. And then my friend, same friend Liv, she gave me this one. And its name is Little Olive, but I call it Lolive. Back to the action. Okay, I'm gonna, my goal is to make my hair look like Kiwi's hair. What are you gonna do with all your clips? Like, what's the ultimate goal? Just like a birthday in the original highlight video, kind of, I don't know. We'll see what it turns into. Oh, it better be something. It better be sickness. It's final. Immediately following rehearsal at Greenfield Central High School, we headed back to Avon High School to get ready for our finals performance in WGI Indianapolis. <laughs> Is proud to present Pride of Cincinnati. I didn't record much after our finals performance just because everything was so busy, but we just loaded everything into the trailers, talked to our staff, and were dismissed. The following morning, Tanner and I flew back to Orlando, and that was the conclusion of our Indie Regional Weekend. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes footage of the 2022 Indianapolis Regional with the Pride of Cincinnati. For more vlogs like this, stay tuned to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next one. Welcome to Orlando. <laughs>